Hi again, B fans. This lecture is focused on swarming, which is another thing that I get a lot of questions about. Usually the first question is why do bees swarm? To understand that, we have to take a look at how bee population inside a hive changes over the seasons. In the wintertime, hive population is low. Bees overwinter in a small cluster with the queen and no brood. In the spring, as it starts to warm up, maybe even as early as February, the queen starts to lay eggs and the population really starts to skyrocket as we move into the early and mid spring. It stabilizes over the summer and then falls off again in the fall going into winter as the queen stops laying. It's that time in the early spring when we start to see swarms come out of the beehives. There's so many bees in there and the population is growing so fast that, that the bees need to leave. And this is actually how honeybee colonies reproduce. If you look inside of a hive during swarming season, these kind of peanut-shaped cells along the bottom of this frame, those are queen cells. When a hive swarms, usually the old queen leaves the hive with a, with a group of worker bees, usually young worker bees, and these queens that are uh, left behind in the hive will hatch out. Sometimes those new queens will generate another swarm, um, but eventually one of those queens will take over the existing hive and um, will go on a mating flight and that hive will uh, continue on with the new queen. But again, the old queen or maybe one of the new virgin queens have left the hive with a group of worker bees. This is what you might see um, in a typical swarm. A typical swarm, the queen uh, and, and worker bees will alight on a bush or on a tree branch up off the ground and cluster together. While they're in that cluster, scout bees are going out and looking for a new place to set up a hive. When we've had swarms in our yard, for example here, um, to catch a swarm, we typically will uh, get access to the swarm and try to knock them into a cardboard box. We then dump all of those bees into a new hive box, and that is how we, we get a new hive in the backyard. So again, this is the bees' way of reproducing new colonies. If you have a colony that throws a lot of swarms, typically that means it's, it's a healthy, strong colony. Sometimes if bees don't find an appropriate place to set up a new home, they may just set up out in the open like these bees have done. Uh, building combs straight off of, off of this old branch. This is not an ideal situation for the bees because this hive has very little protection from the weather or from uh, bears, for example, from predators. So it's not likely that a hive like this would survive for very long. Um, so it is important if you, if you have a swarm to call a beekeeper and have them come and catch it so that that colony can succeed. Sometimes bees will go into your wall. And here I wanna share some photos from the Bartlett Bee Whisperer, who has a great Facebook page and um, some fantastic photos. In this case, there is a beehive in this wall. And at the bottom of the screen, you can see just a little dark space in between two bricks. That's where the hive entrance is. He took a picture with an infrared camera. And so you can see the main body of the hive, um, which is to the right of where that little tiny entrance is. Unfortunately, in a case like this, the best thing to do is to take the wall apart. And that's what the Bartlett Bee Whisperer did. So he started to remove some of the bricks and eventually exposed the entire hive inside of this house. If you have bees in the walls of your house, it's best to, to remove them because as you can see here, there is a huge amount of wax and honey that if you remove the bees without removing all of this wax and honey, um, that will cause a real problem inside of your walls. So in this case, the Bee Whisperer actually cuts out the comb and rubber bands it into uh, new frames and then takes it home. So that is a short overview of swarming and give me a call if you're in the Shippensburg area and you find a bee swarm.